Hi, I'm Richard Ward of Wardjet, and uh, this is typical of a custom machine application retrofit that we love getting involved in. In this particular situation, the customer has several uh, plasma machines, which they like, but they wanted to convert one of them into a water jet system. They contacted us right down our alley, and uh, we said, well, probably the easiest would be to take our standard design, standard cross beam, extend it, so in other words, customize it. It's actually bolted on uh, at a different angle here, get the maximum travel that we can uh, out of the unit and just put it right on the front of their existing gantry, which we've done. New motors, new cables, uh, our controller itself uh, on the inside, we just gutted everything out of the controller, uh, put all our own electronics in, put our own touch screens instead of being side by side like you typically see on the X Classic. Uh, same uh, modular uh, membrane panels and from an electronic electrical perspective of course very easy for us to do. From a mechanical side because we use the same cross beam, because we use the same Z carriages, the same risers on any of our other equipment again very easy to do. The primary function of this machine is the customer wants to cut out five foot diameter discs uh, in about 10 inch thick material and uh, be able to cut as many as they can as quickly as they can. Hence the six heads. The concept here is that head one, for example, would cut uh, counterclockwise, head two would cut clockwise and be a mirror image and as a result we would be able to cut each half of the circle simultaneously and do it three times by having uh, six heads. So we can get three five foot discs. Using the six heads we can actually cut them all at the same time. Of course one of the things you've got to be particularly concerned about is that the heads are limited as to how close they can come relative to each other just because of the Z carriage and everything else in the way. So we wrote the software that works pretty well where if you can imagine, your two heads are spaced a certain distance apart and that would be as close as you could get them typically. Um, so you would then switch your first head on, leave this head switched off, and you would start to move around. And as soon as you got to that position, the second head switches on and now it would come around. You can see I'm very talented at this. And then this one would switch off and it would come around. So that way we are able to, even though our heads are not at, of course at the same position, still be able to get at least, depending on the size of the circle, you might be able to get 80% uh, of it, 90% of it done uh, with the two head mirror image system. Things that are quite interesting about this machine is the automatic spacing of the heads relative to each other. So we can actually park all the heads at one side. We can then position the heads out. Um, say maybe you wanted to cut with head one and two or head one and four, uh, whatever combination it is that you're looking for. Uh, we'll just bring that out. And then of course, we also have the capability of not only cutting at the same time, but we can cut as a mirror image uh, to try and save uh, time when it comes to cutting uh, larger parts which allow mirror image cutting. In this particular case uh, the customer wanted to supply their own cutting heads and abrasive feed systems. They already have other water jets uh, which we are always open to. Um, if there's something that you prefer to do or you'd like us to do or some parts that you'd like us to use just talk to us and we'd be happy to do it. These particular heads are not programmable Zs. These are uh, DC motors, so they motorize Zs. But we can, of course, go to 32 axes of motion and we could have made these all programmable if they needed them. So just another situation where we've been able to take an existing machine, fabricate a beam, 
use some of our metrology equipment uh, where we actually used the Faro laser tracker to come once we had welded it all, uh, get a 3D image of the whole machine, put that onto our drawings, machine it on the mill with the large milling uh, and CNC equipment that we have, heat stress reliever, powder coat it, put it all together and dropped on perfectly and goes out to the customer. The next thing we'll see is it's installed and up and running. So if you're looking for anything custom, be it a machine that's got nothing to do with water jet cutting or uh, something you want retrofitted or some specific application, it's right down our alley.